Whoa, the New South Wales Swifts have done it again. They pulled off another crazy comeback in the fourth quarter to take down their fierce rivals, the Melbourne Vixens, by a score of 67-66 in Super Netball. That's right, they won by just one goal for the second time in a row. Last week, it was Helen Housby who came in clutch with a two-pointer to secure a 64-63 win over the Sunshine Coast Lightning. This time, the Swifts were down by nine goals at Sydney's Ken Rosewall Arena, but they refused to give up. They amped up the pressure in the final quarter, forced four crucial turnovers, and shocked the Vixens to take a major step towards regaining the Sergeant McInnes Cup. The Vixens had won both meetings against the Swifts last season, so they were on the verge of making it three straight. But they wilted under the Swifts' pressure in the final quarter, and the home team managed to cling to possession over the closing seconds to hold on to their one-goal lead. Ali Smith, a former Vixen playing as a fill-in defender, became the unlikely hero by ripping down a vital rebound after Mwai Kumwenda's two-point attempt missed the mark. That was the only defensive rebound the Swifts got, but it was enough to seal the deal. Swifts coach Bryony Ackle had to give her team a pep talk to remind them to stay focused. We've got 15 more minutes to play here, she told them. Get back in the game, we can grind this out. And grind it out they did. Melbourne coach Simone McInnes tried to combat the Swifts' aerial strength by starting unheralded defender Liv Lewis ahead of Emily Mannix. And Lewis delivered, with four gains and two intercepts in the first half. Both teams had their moments of dominance in the opening half, but they went into the main break with scores tied at 30-30. The Vixens surged ahead in the third quarter to lead 46-37, but Housby returned for the Power 5 period and drained three super shots to cut Melbourne's lead to 52-46 heading into the final quarter. In the end, the Swifts needed to win extra possessions.